So guys, now what I am doing, I am making some key rings again, just a different way. So I have used my first time resin um, resina to get rid of the bubbles and you can see how clear the resin came out. As usual, I am using my gentian resin. Okay, let me see. And let's mix. Then let us mix some white. I just split the cup so I don't need that much resin. And I am using white pigment paste uh, in this one. mixing more white and this is something different very different I am going to do on I am going to utilize my henna skin on this um, henna skill <laughs> on this um, keyrings so I got I am going to do K here So I'm going to fill it up all the way to the top. See, to, no bubble at all. Love that. I fill up this half of it throughout the day. Oh, I wasn't sure what I'm doing, but now I decided what I'm doing. So fill it up all the way. Right, that's enough to know. Let's be here. Okay. So that's done. Now I am tomorrow I'll demold it and I'll show you what I'm doing next. So now I am going to demold the next day. So this one was already I have filled up half and I did only half filled up. You can see the line there. But I just want to see this one, how we're doing with the bubbles, the one, the fresh one, I'll fill it up all the way up. It's no bubble. <laughs> uh, let's check how this one was done before, but I'm just going to demold all of them. And I'll show you what I'm doing next. Just like, you can use any color, you don't need to just go for the white. If you use the black on uh, white, then it will be, it will create a nice um, pattern on top. So yeah, that is a bit yellowish, I don't know why, but it was done 80 so though, so the bottom layer. I just fill up the top bit, so it's not quite bright white. I'm just using a black there. As you can see, it's not bubbles in this one after using a um, resin machine. So the next step for this um, thing, I got all my letters here, and I am just going to use my Posca pens. Color can I, I can should I go for it would be nice because it's a white background so all color will look nice some of them hasn't been open from now so I'm just using one orange uh, using one purple purple is open 
shall go for red one. One red. So many colors there. Oh, let me just go for this bright pink. And maybe I'll go with this yellow. the colors like there right now so what I'm doing this normally um, um, in a craft fair sometime um, I um, do the henna patterns I love doing henna I started doing henna patterns since I was you probably have looked, seen on my hands sometime when I was a kid um, so I am just going to give a henna pattern. I might not go all over. It uh, depends. I'll, I'll see how it goes and how it looks. So let can see. This is my one of the. Normally I go for this pattern. So you can give any pattern you want to go for, just give it a go. Any design you think you want to use, just use it. It's like a free hand. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use, I'm going to leave that one as it is maybe just do a little bit pattern from other side because when you leave the negative space it pops out more So, can you see that? That's a pattern I just done, and I'm going to do a tiny bit here, so it's, it's kind of the opposite corner. So, yeah, you can see. So, this is how I'm going to leave this one, and it's drying nicely. I want to see how I get covered with the resin, it will look nice. So, let's do the pink and see how pink looks. I'm to, I'll do the different one in this one. I might just do my pick up one which I love mm, I know this pattern so much
this is some hasn't been covered so I'm just going back again to see where I need to cover I'm just going to go a little bit up I'm going to leave this one negative space It. I'm going to leave it now. You can see beautiful pattern. I'm using the red one now. And red. I might just to do. Yeah. I might just start from this side. And this one is one of my favorite as well it's like a spider start that way I'll probably leave this blank I'll see how it goes if I need to fill up if I don't like just those things so I might just fill up all the way I might just leave it. Looks nice, the negative space on the one side. Okay. Now, um, orange. just a dot and it's like this this is one of the um the popular one easy and popular i would say I'm going to fill this one up all the way. I'm recording video.
Huh. This one is filled up whole thing. Now, um, now on, on this one, I am, oh, actually on this one, I'm going to do my favorite flower. The Arabic henna I do. So I am going to start, actually start from this side. This is how the flower looks. It doesn't come out the exact way as in a henna pattern because it looks really nice in henna. But this one hasn't got proper shed. The only way in henna I have a more control on my cone if I want a dark shed or the light shed. But it doesn't really matter. And I'll, I'll do the same way here as well. That's how it looks here. Alright, now let me go for. I think I'm going to use purple again on J as well. For J pattern. Mm. I just probably go for my cross pattern I normally go. I'm going for hole on this one. Okay, so it's like a check pattern. Pattern again here. So I'm trying to work. Okay, now I'm doing my henna pattern on these checks. So one dot here, one dot there, one dot there, so four dots.
see. I think that looks the most beautiful one. Okay. Oh, I'm going to use this color again. I love it. No, actually, I've got two of them. What I do? I'm going to use the same pattern in this one. Well, it's a text pattern, but different way. So using pink. Okay. I'll go this way. In this one, I am just going for the big and here, just like that. Just make a big dot circle. So once that's done, in the big checks, I'm just going to put more circles just right in the middle. checks better I think I'm loving this too more than anything else <laughs> the yellow is quite light but this all other colors are popping out really nicely especially the purple and orange looks really nice so now I'm 
I'll put the, my UV resin. Let me just get uh, this one is dry, that's dry as well. It's dry, uh, all dry. This one is still dry, that's nearly dry as well. So, yeah. But first, I'm going to drill the hole. So, you probably have seen my um, video how I um, put the accessories in this one. But I use this drilling machine for its electric one. It makes life so easier. And just press it. It's done. It doesn't take too long. When you use the hand drill, it takes ages and ages, and I, I used to get so tired using that. My hands always hurt when I do that one, and it takes ages. So I invested in this drill, and it's such a life game changer. So I thought it's done like um, seven hearings done. No time. So, I'm just going to wipe that off and I'll show you how. So, I'll just wipe this off and I'll show you how I put my. Because um, I'm showing you the UV days in May, how you can do, you can do your um, uh, doming for keying or anything. I normally do doming for keying using the UV resin. I do for um, grip, um, phone grip, the phone holders. Um, yeah, and uh, small bits like this old things. It's easy to do using the UV resin. Um, yeah, let me my resin out so the first I'm going to put them um, put um, what is called a eye pin struggling to get the words out <laughs> um, get my gloves I'm just putting on one hand and keeping one free. So, uh, let's get this out. And I'm just going to leave it here a little bit. This is the, I'm using the silver eye pin. I'm right handed, I struggle to work with left hand when I had to. So, got my pliers here, and what I do, I touch the resin. First, oops, I had to wipe it off because I just dropped that. I'll leave that one. Yeah, touch it and just put. And when you use this one, um, using one hand plier and one, just twist your um, letter just like that. You don't need to move this hand. Just twist your letter and it will go in and it gets secure and um, it does take a little bit long to cure because it's inside but it will eventually it will get cured okay. 
see how easily it just goes in you can use the epoxy resin as well i think on another video i have showed how to do with the epoxy it's the same way to do it just push it in and put it in You know what happens with the UV resin when you um, try to cure it sometimes it doesn't get cured so quickly so once you use your uh, UV light you can actually put it by the windowsill where you get a little bit of sunlight or at least you get some kind of sh um, it, it doesn't need to have some fully sunlight of sunshine but just leave it by windowsill and it will cure eventually. I normally leave it when it doesn't cure uh, with them, um, and it's I get tired sitting and waiting. So I normally leave it by the window still, and it gets cured. Or you can leave it outside in a garden as well when it's sunny day, or even on a cloudy day. I don't know why I got mixed one now. I think I picked up the wrong one. Yeah, I got a small, the one I use for the heart. Luckily, I have a few in this one. I got big ones. So I got one. How many do I need? Just need two. Should I just use that one and wipe it off? See how easily it can just get inside when you don't use UV resin or uh, epox, uh, epoxy resin in your um, eye pin. What happens sometimes it um, it comes off because um, I saw so many people complaining online. I normally when um, I started making keyring, I some reason I just wanted to get it done this way, either UV resin or um, uh, epoxy so it make it secure so it doesn't come up I'm right, just going to wipe this so that's all done and now I'm going to dome that first I need to move those which I don't need so what pick here so then for doming it's easy just go on top of it just put your UV resin I'm running low in this one I need to open the new one yeah I use Jediction resin UV resin, well, all our products, my products are J addiction, UV resin, or epoxy. Just spread on the side to make sure it has got proper doming effect.
look under the light if you have missed any point you haven't spread your resin right, this one looks okay so I am going I'm moving it under the UV light and turn my UV light on and I carry on with the next one but I have to make sure I'm not too close to it when I'm putting my resin to and put doming my uh, I might just open that one doming my um, keyring um, letter so you can see there are curing under the UV light and uh, I'm going to leave it on the windowsill before I put uh, my um, the assemble the keyrings. Um, so you have seen the video how I assemble the keyrings. I'm not going to show you in this part, but I'll show you how they look under the sunlight tomorrow so, um, when I uh, edit this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.